How are you doing and how have you been? Now today I'm going to bring you my random challenge. Here are the rules and the reason why we are choosing Crash Landed as one of the rules is to be forced to use some negative traits that we all try and avoid, let's be honest. Every other setting I will be using the randomised button that's on the screens. That's the rules, that simple, let's waste no more time, wish me luck or hope I fall, let's jump in. So here we go party people, we're going to start a new colony, crash landed like I said in the rules. And there can only be one storyteller for this challenge, Randy Random. Now we're going to pick reload anytime, as just in case a file gets corrupted, something like that. You know, the boring stuff. We're going to randomise the seed and we're also just going to put 50% coverage. Here we go and here's our beautiful world. Now we're going to click randomise once on everything and whatever we get, we're going to get. We are going to up the map size just because... You know, I've heard bigger is better. And this is what we have to deal with. So it could be worse, could be better, but not really much we can say. Limestone and granite is nice though. So all, all year growing period. So it could have been worse. It could have been worse. Right, so let's start clicking randomize and see who we get first. So here's our first person, Takeshi. 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 Takeshi's castle is our first person. Next up. We've got, God, I can't pronounce that. But you know what? These first two haven't been terrible. Right, for our last victim. Ooh, I don't like the alcohol addiction. That is not fun. So we'll just have a quick look back. So incapable of intellectual, artistic, crafting, um, industrial, physically sensitive. Okay, so it is not terrible. Next one, I think this is, you know, careful shooter. Chemical fascination could be... A bit boring, incapable of caring, and then our last one, incapable of caring, social fire, fighting. So not ter- and hates men, but kind. Not terrible, not terrible. I'll take this all day long. Construction for all of the group is only four. We're going to change this person's name, because I don't really know how to um, pronounce it. So I think we'll just change her name to... Hella? Hola! Yeah, we'll just change it to that. I can never remember how to change the middle. Oh, you just click on it, apparently. Let's change her middle name to Hell. I think that suits the challenge quite well. Hell. So we've got Takashi, Hell, and Kitten. God, we've got a lovely group of individuals, haven't we? No, I don't think they're too bad. I I'm happy. It could have been a lot worse. Um, yeah, quick check. Let's just make sure we've done all that right. So, Desert. Yeah, I think that's all set, isn't it? Right, next. Nothing left to do, peeps. Let's jump in, wish me luck. So the three of you awake in our crypto sleep sarcophagi to the sound of sirens ripping metal. We barely escape before we crash landed into this rim world. So I'm going to try not to cut out all the footage. So the first things that we basically want to do is allow everything to our contestants, our three survivors, the Keshi, Hell and Kitten, can make their way in this world and you know make a base make a living make a home for themselves so we're just going to have a quick look around the map just to see if there's anywhere good to sort of set up base i have seen an ancient danger as i'm like moving around which mm, good and bad but we'll just leave it alone for the time being this could be a good little spot um i like the idea of building into the side of this mountain because look we've got a mountain here with two like an entrance and exit, we could just wall it off and then that'd be a natural sort of defensive position. That's what I'm thinking. I haven't seen a lot of wildlife, but I will allow them um, survival meals because every little helps. Um, I like the idea of building up here, to be honest. Hmm. It's, it's judging. The problem is, is there's a lot of silver down here. So I'm going to end up mining it all away. Anyway, let's have a look and see where our growing zones are. So we have got some really good growing zones. Um, they're sort of spread. There's nothing really massive, but you're never going to get something hugely massive being in the desert anyway. Oh, so, but at least we've got some places. Let's have a good scroll. I like that big one up there. That sort of adds to putting my base sort of in that bit. Or at least their first, like, um, joint bedroom. So what we're going to do is we're going to start by building four growing zones. Um, just for the start, and then we'll see how we go with that, because I don't want to spend them to spend too long growing and not being able to do other things. 
Um, and I really do want to get heel root. So I think the smaller one's just going to be heel root. Don't think we've got... The, no, we don't. So we don't have the growing level to do that yet. But that will fly up. So we want rice. Uh, rice and potato is what I'm feeling. Yeah, let's go potato. And there, we've got our little growing zones. Like, it's going to be nothing crazy. Because this is a harder difficulty. I want to make sure we have just enough food. I don't want to waste stuff. I want to be quite efficient. We're just going to chuck a dumping zone. This is all the regular stuff, like when you start playing RimWorld, if you haven't played before, or you've played, this is sort of day one, what you need to get sorted out. We're going to have a bedroom in here because we're only going to have to put a few things in. We are going to build it out of wood, which is probably a bit wasteful, considering we're not going to be able to get any wood in this map, but we're going to have to deal with that. Right, we'll just put some sleeping beds so they know where to go and a little torch so they're not miserable that it's pitch black. Yeah, I think that's a good good initial setup. I don't want to overload them on day one. We are going to have to think about putting a table in is my only f feeling. We'll have the stockpile here then eventually we'll build like the warehouse there. We'll build um, the fridge next door to it. And then we'll have like a production room and a kitchen off them, if that makes sense. Um, I think that'll work quite nicely. And let's just make sure our home zones aren't anything crazy. I don't, we're going to end up getting like running around worrying about things that we really don't need to worry about. So that's fine. A lot of steel around this map I've noticed, which is going to help a lot. I think we might have to build, build some things out of steel initially. Uh, we'll get the butcher's spot set up, and then we'll also get the campfire, I think it's called. And then that will be our early cooking. It's just important to keep up with them quick. Because the minute otherwise you're playing like catch up with food, which we really don't want to be doing, especially on this level. But, you know, our three survivors, you know, they've sorted out their bedroom. They've got a stockpile, a growing zone. You know, I think this is quite productive for day one, I'll tell you that. Ancient Danger, I am going to have to mark off at some point. What I normally do with Ancient Dangers, just so I don't forget, is I go into the planning and I just put like a D over it, just so then when I'm doing anything, I've always got that there. Now you can make, you can always make the argument that you know what it is, but just when you're rushing to play a game, and especially when you're recording it, I don't want to accidentally demolish the wall or remove the wall and the Ancient Dangers run out. So all we're going to do here, so is our three survivors have crash landed here in their survival pods. And I'm just going to just check who's good at shooting. Well, unallow everything first, just so they will haul it. And then we're going to just make sure everyone's kitted out with guns and stuff like It's going to be really important every opportunity we get to upgrade gear, give people better guns, that we take it. Because I haven't actually played on this level difficulty before not for a long period of time anyway so i'm not sure how randy random is going to do with this to be honest so it's going to be interesting but anyway we're with our two people here our three people here keshi hell and kitten um and you know what i think this is a good group now I am planning on doing like a couple of seasons of this challenge. I would like to do it until its completion. But I think for day one, or you know, episode one, I know the desert isn't brilliant. The desert is not brilliant. I will give you that. But everything else, I'm not too. I'm not too bad. The only thing I have noticed is Takashi is the only one that is able to actually doctor. So that could be a huge problem if he goes down. Well, it will be a huge problem. Um, because basically he'll just die. Yeah, that is a big problem. So I'm just going to set some simple work priorities. I don't want to do anything crazy. I'm not going to worry about smithing, tailor, art and crafting to begin with. Just because we're not too worried about stuff like that. Or not at the beginning, you know. We're just trying to make sure the bedrooms are built, stockpile, hauling, that sort of stuff. This isn't, you know, a speed run or anything silly like that. We just want to survive and eventually build our spacecraft and leave this rim world so plant cutting i'm not too bothered by i'm only going to put it high because 
the odd cactus that I am going to want them to cut for wood. If I want it cut, I just want them to do it straight away. I like to always make sure there's one person. We haven't really got a cook, which is a problem. The thing is, I want to make sure if there's something I want constructed, it goes up. I don't see that being a... We'll just leave it like that. And we, we can always come back to it and change in between. And we probably will, because I imagine we're going to be stuck with three people for a long time anyway. Unless we can get like a prison up and stuff like that. So we'll try and play on the faster speeds where possible. Obviously, we'll slow it down at certain points and stuff. But you, I imagine you've seen all this before Takeshi just throwing up over the growing zone, which is absolutely lovely. We'll just make sure all the orders are up. So the minute you get go hunt something, I just want it butchered straight away. And we'll just put a little bill for a simple meal. Uh, do until you have 12. Yeah, that, that would do. Because I'm trying to think, because there's three of them. So three, six, nine, twelve. So then they'll have their meals for that time. I think that's a good way to do it. Maybe not. Right, they're all hauling, which is perfect. I want my cactus cut down just to give us a little bit of wood because we'll need it for the torch. I think you have to relight them anyway. Um, we're also going to need... Is it stone cut? Do we get stone cutting straight away? Yeah, because we've got granite, limestone. We've got a lot of chunks near us. So I think actually it's going to be really productive to get our stone cutting bench like straight away because... That is going to be our resources for building walls and stuff. And if we can just do it now, that saves like struggling. And I know like you can use steel, but we do have a lot of steel, but I do see it as waste. I just want to make sure fresh like corpses. I don't want chunks to go there either, because I do want another stockpile just in front of this, just for the time being. And chunks can go here. So let's just make sure everything so i just want chunks here there perfect that is the right button and then get rid of them so if any hauling is done on chunks they'll go straight there so whoever's stone cutting can just literally pick them up and do it obviously later on we might end up moving the base to be honest um like later on when we get loads of stuff because i think probably being over here isn't very um sensible but i think early on when resources are a bit like short and stuff i think pushing our way towards this mountain-esque area will be really good i do need to check that if this is actually classed as a mountain because that could be big big trouble with infestations um if we get an infestation on this difficulty i think we probably will be done um is it worth mining this so then getting a table in there maybe or research no it won't be big enough for a research will i um, so we just, I've got to remember to build with steel, so I'm not used to playing in desert areas, so I have a habit of, um, sort of just clicking the item and building it out of wood, so I just need to remember to, that, to keep swapping it to steel, especially initially we're going to build everything out of steel. There's an abundancy to, on the map, and I'm happy with that plan. At least for the first, like, couple of days, obviously, the minute we start, mate, oh, hello. Look at that, hell is already making granite chunks. That is brilliant. Now, probably should just use limestone to like build the initial walls and stuff. I don't know how hard like Randy is going to hit us early on. So I think especially with our stockpiles, our stockpile fridge and kitchen and the other production room that we're planning on building. It's a lot of effort up. You know, I'm really thinking about this strategically. I might put them on granite walls because obviously I don't want them to be destroyed straight away. And maybe the bedrooms later limestone. Um, but initially, I think we're going to do granite. That's the plan anyway. Comment down below, like, how should I be using these materials like limestone and granite? Now, I know granite, I'm sure granite has the better um, hit points. That's what I'm led to believe. Otherwise, I've just lost the plot and God knows what I'm doing. Right, I'm really happy that everything's been getting done. You know, if I want to mine, it's getting done. I think this is a really productive group, to be honest. Um, I will just haul the granite stones just so they're just that little bit closer. Just because then it just makes everyone's life easier. 
Because I only have to quickly haul them now and I'm fine. Uh, what's your problem? Uh, rebuffed, awful barracks. There's not much we can do about that now. Like, you've got a table to eat at. Although what we can do is build beds. And that is what we'll do. They'll make sure they're still. But we will build beds because they're going to be in this garrison for a little while, I'm afraid. Obviously, eventually, we're going to want everyone to have their own individual bedroom. But, yeah, we're not worried about that initially. Our first problem is going to be getting the fridge up. Fridge and some power. Because I've played... I say I didn't play the desert. I played the desert very shortly before this, just to see what I'm sort of into. And a problem that I found that you have is obviously food. So when I say about this is because the wildlife that's going to be here is not going to be a lot. And what you do hunt, you'll go, oh, new lovers. Ah, oh, Takeshi. Oh, joked about maturity. And that attract. This is where I've been like gone wrong in my early life. You have to joke about maturity and that's how you get the women. Oh, Wanderer joins. Oh, Randy, random. Oh, come here. Hell's sister. That is absolute. Please be good. Please be good. Please be good. Please be good. Let's have a look. Do you know what? I will take that all day long. It's naked that we have to keep an eye on. It even has an auto pistol. Do you know what? Randy loves us. This is going to be the best like series ever. Like Randy loves us. Do not clip the moment, like the first episode where I'm saying Randy loves me before he takes me down. Um, that won't be fun. We will build, um, uh, we put another bed as well, another chair, just to make sure then everyone can eat, everyone can sleep in beds and stuff like that. Um, oh, that's really coming clutch. Like, we're going to be able to get a lot done. Like, I want to be able to get defences up by the first raid, stuff like that. We will just have like a basic outer wall. And I'm thinking having like a corridor of traps, like a, a two row. One of the, oh, oh, it would probably be easier showing, but we won't probably do that for the first three episodes just because I would rather get that fridge up. Um, yeah, so anyway, so what I'm saying is, so wildlife is really, really like sparse. So when we kill something, we need to make sure that meat isn't going to waste and it's getting frozen. Psychic drone, so there's Randy giving us that backhand. Um, so all males in the colony. Yeah, free. We've got three males, haven't we? No. We've only got the one male. Yeah, because um, Takeshi is our only male. Oh, that's not too bad, then. Um, yeah, so we want to make sure all the food that we're getting is going straight into the fridge and being saved. Now, it's going to be a bit difficult to start with as I put the wall in the wrong place. Because we're probably going to have to go off wind power and we're not going to have batteries. But at least it'll be frozen for little parts. So I want two doors just so the cold. This pro it probably is too narrow. But like I said, this is just initial. Eventually we're going to end up moving to probably the center of the map. And we're going to have like... I'm thinking of like having a couple of walls around, so we'll have an initial wall around the bedroom, then we'll have the rest of the bit, then another wall around there because we're going to get sappers that are going to uh, come for our walls, which is going to be a mass problem. Not really sure of the best way to sort of do defences. I might have to have a little bit of look around and stuff because normally I'm used to just building into the mountains and dealing with uh, infestations. If you haven't played the game infestations is basically if you go into the mountains or any area where there is a cliff overhead the game has a chance to spawn infestations which are like alien bugs and they will just wreck your life you do not want them they are harsh i don't think there's a way to get rid of them other than removing that event from the game i haven't seen anyone deal with them really well like there's ways to make rooms that you're trying to tempt the game to always spawn them in and then the idea is just like burn the room down but anything other than that i haven't seen anything that's like oh that's the best way to do it